good morning children uh, we completed ex uh, chapter 10 circles now we are doing the extra questions o is the center of the circle of radius 5 cm op perpendicular to ab oq perpendicular to cd ab parallel to cd ab equal to 6 and cd equal to 8 to find the length of the uh, pq the diagram is already given to you based on that only we have to do the sum so what is given here op perpendicular to ab so 90 degree angle here also 90 degree and AB length equal to 6 and CD is 8. So find the length of PQ. So given O is the center of the circle. Radii equal to 5 centimeter. OP perpendicular to AB. OQ perpendicular to CD. And also AB parallel to CD. What is the length measurement is given? AB equal to 6, CD equal to 8. To find PQ length. So, we have to find the PQ length only. Construction here. Join OC and OA. That is the radius of the circle to be joined here. That is the uh, construction part. So, I am joining first OC and the next is OA. Okay. Now, we have joined the radius here. So, here we know that it is equal to 5 and here also it is 5 only because the radius is given. Now, the perpendicular is drawn from the center by 6 the chord we know that. So, we, we will write to join OC and OA. Proof. First point is that a perpendicular from the center of the circle bisects the cot. So, what is the meaning of this one means we can write according to the diagram we need this side only CQ equal to half of CD. What is the length of CD is 8. So, it is equal to 4. CQ equal to 4 centimeter half into 8 equal to 4 centimeter and similarly AP equal to half of 6. AB equal to 6. So, AP means half into 6 equal to 3 centimeter. Now, I will write here 3 only. Right. So, now triangle OCQ by Pythagoras theorem because already it is given that perpendiculars only. So, by Pythagoras theorem in triangle OCQ OQ square equal to 5 square minus 4 square equal to 25 minus 16 equal to 9. Therefore, OQ equal to 3 centimeter. Similarly, in triangle OAP, again angle P is 90 degree only. By Pythagoras theorem, we can write. So, so OP square equal to 5 square minus 3 square equal to 25 minus 9 equal to 16. Therefore, OP Hmm. OP equal to 4 centimeter. Now, what is the question is asked PQ. Therefore, PQ equal to OP minus OQ. So, 4 minus 3 equal to 1 centimeter. This is the required answer. So, here only one concept if you learn correctly, we can do that one perpendicular from the center bisects the chord. So, so total length of CD is 8. Therefore, this much CQ equal to 4. AB is 6. So, AP equal to 3. Now, it is a right triangle. Very well, you know that 3, 4, 5 is the Pythagorean triplet. So, 5 and 4. So, this length is equal to 3. 5 and 3, this total length is equal to 4. So, the difference between because this is asked in the question. So, 4 minus 3 equal to 1 centimeter. O is the center of the circle of radius 5 cm, OP perpendicular to AB, OQ perpendicular to CD, AB and CD are two parallel. AB equal to 6, CD equal to 8 this time. M find the length of PQ. But this time what is the difference between the previous question? Because it is either of the side of the center. That is same side of the center only the last question because it is a opposite side. One is this above the center and another one is below the center. That either of the side only we are getting the parallel chords. So, find 
again the length of the PQ is only. So now this time also the radius is 5. Now we will learn that the perpendicular bisect the chord. Same construction join the radius and here 5. Now what is the length of AB? AB equal to 6. So what you can say about AP? AP equal to 3. Similarly, what is the length of CD? It is 8. So what is the length of uh, CQ? It is equal to 4. Right? So 3 plus 3 6. So same rule only we are doing. So we can do first little bit given. Uh, everything is same only. So I'll just write down that what is given in the figure. O is the center of the circle. Radius equal to 5 centimeter. AB parallel to CD. OP perpendicular to AB. OQ perpendicular to CD. And AB6. CD8 to find PQ construction join OA and OC so I'll write clearly A B here C D and this time P and Q ok 90 degree mark correctly ah. now proof by Pythagoras theorem. Write the specifically we will write angle P is equal to 90. Angle Q is equal to 90. Right. Now in triangle OAP. What we can write. Uh, length of OP required. So OP square equal to 5 square minus 3 square equal to 5, 25 minus 9 it is equal to 16 therefore op equal to 4 now triangle ocq which we want a oq oq square equal to 5 square minus 4 square it is equal to 25 minus 16 equal to 9 oq equal to 3 therefore pq equal to 4 plus 3 equal to 7 one point we missed which is that point the perpendicular from the center of the chord bisects the chord that we should write so I'll add here only perpendicular from the center bisects the chord therefore AP equal to 3 centimeter CQ equal to 4 centimeter if you understood the last question it is easy only how we are getting and all so what is the total length uh, total length equal to 4 and 3 uh, to be added that is equal to 7 so up to here it is 4 and here it is 3 so total length is equal to 7 last time it is on the same side so difference we have taken this time either of the side so we have added PQ and RS are two parallel chords of the circle whose center is O and radius is 10 cm. If PQ 16, RS 12, find the distance between PQ and RS if they lies on the same side of the center O and the opposite side of the center O. We have already done the questions uh, similar to this one, the last two examples like that only and we are doing one more question. You can see in many question paper this type of the question has come. So given to prove you complete as it is but here to find the length of LM only but for two cases are there one case when it is on the same side of the center and uh, the two chords are on the different sides of the center so construction is not given so we are drawing the perpendiculars OL perpendicular to PQ and OM perpendicular to RS so the first step perpendicular from the center of the circle bisects the chord so we are calculating PL and RM so PQ equal to uh, 16 so PL equal to 8 RS equal to 12 and RM equal to 6 only now we have to write that one only now the radius is 10 so I'll write here 10 centimeter and here it is 8 similarly here 6 the diagram everything is same only the radius is 10 and rm equal to 6 and pl equal to 8 now the uh, depending upon the question number 1 it is on the same side and depending upon the question number 2 both are on the either of the side of the center the same concept what we have done here in by Pythagoras theorem we are calculating OL square OL square equal to 10 square minus 8 square so naturally the you know that it's a Pythagorean triplet so the answer is 6 similarly the other triangle which one ORM so ORM angle M90 OR we have to calculate OR square means 
ഒ ആർ സ്ക്വയർ ഒ എം സ്ക്വയർ റൈറ്റ് നോട്ട് ഹിയർ ഒ എം സ്ക്വയർ ഈക്വൽ ടു ടെൻ സ്ക്വയർ മൈനസ് സിക്സ് സ്ക്വയർ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സിക്സ്റ്റി ഫോർ ദ ഫോർ ഒ എം ഈക്വൽ ടു എയ്റ്റ് സെൻറ്റിമീറ്റർ So, O L equal to 6, O M equal to 8, we got. Now, what is the question? The length between the chords they have asked, that is L M. So, case 1, L M equal to um, 8 minus 6 equal to 2 centimeter. Case 2, L M means 8 plus 6 equal to 14 centimeter. so the first question it is a difference we have to calculate the second question we have to add because here the difference is asked this much only so total length is 8 minus 6 it is equal to 2 and here 8 and here 6 so total length will be we have to add if you do the first two questions it is similar to that only so just again one more example only the answers are 2 and 14 two concentric circles with the center o have a b c d the points of intersections with the line l as shown in the figure so here this line should be extended l okay next uh, if ad equal to 12 the long longest chord is equal to 12 cm bc equal to 8 cm find the length of a b c d a c and b d so given concentric circle with the center o okay to find ab cd ac bd again construction required here om perpendicular to Uh, the longest chord is a uh, ad only so ad i'll write ad now the proof perpendicular from the center of the circle bisects the chord okay so ad equal to 12 cm therefore am equal to dm equal to 6 cm next bc equal to 8 cm so bm equal to cm equal to 4 cm find the length of ab now it is asked for a b and c d for getting a b and c d what we should do a m minus b m and we know that the right side also is equal to this only d m minus c m see the diagram again a m here from that b m is subtracted so what is remaining a b here c Oh, sorry dm is the longest one minus cm so what is the result there is cd now we will write the measurement because both are equal only equal to 6 minus 4 equal to 2 cm we got a b and cd we got a b and cd now what is left ac we want to find out ac equal to am plus cm so 6 plus 4 equal to 10 similarly which is required a bd also required bd equal to uh, bc bd uh, next one is bd already calculated sorry no bd equal to uh, bc plus cd what is the length of bc bc equal to 8 cd equal to 2 only so 8 plus 2 10 cm 
so we got the answer now ac equal to we have taken am uh, ac equal to a, am plus cm we have taken am bisecting property we got a 6 cm we got as a 4 so 6 plus 4 equal to 10 centimeter next is bd only bd means bc plus cd we need so bc is already by uh, we give, given the total length of the chord that is 8 and the difference is cd is 2 so 8 plus 2 equal to 10 centimeter and sprout if a diameter of a circle bisects each of the two chords of the circle prove that the chords are parallel so when we are saying that the diameter the l o m is the diameter in the circle it bisects the chord a b as well as c d that means a l equal to b l and similarly c m equal to d m so it's a converse theorem what we have studied about uh, examples what we have tried just converse of that only so what is given in the question i'll write a circle with the center row we can write or l o m is a diameter of the circle bisects the chord a b and c d to prove a b parallel to c d proof only now if a line bisects the center of from the center of the circle line bisects the chord then it is perpendicular to the chord only what is the statement says that a, a line from the center to a chord bisects the chord then it is perpendicular to the chord that means angle L equal to 90 angle M equal to 90 now what you can say about angle A L M equal to 90 degree and also angle L M D that means angle A L M equal to angle L M D L M D equal to 90 alternate interior angles are equal therefore the lines are parallel that is ab parallel to cd hence proved so this theorem statement you must learn and uh, based on that we are proving say if it is bisects it is a 90 degree to the chord so angle l is equal to 90 degree and again angle m equal to 90 degree so angle 1 and 2 if i mark alternate interior angles are equal so the given line are parallel hence proved with this today's video i am winding up thank you